Maintenant, j'ai le grand plaisir de donner la parole à son Excellence l'ambassadeur Mahmoud Sekar, représentant permanent de la République islamique d'Afghanistan. Je voudrais le féliciter pour sa nomination et lui souhaiter une chaleureuse bienvenue. Je crois savoir que c'est sa première, une de ses premières interventions à New York. Bienvenue à New York et bienvenue à la troisième commission, Monsieur l'ambassadeur. Vous avez la parole. Merci beaucoup. Mr. Chairman, please allow me to join the previous distinguished speakers to express my sincere congratulations to you upon your election as chair of the third committee of the 70th session of the UN General Assembly. Let me assure you of my delegation's full support and cooperation throughout the deliberations of issues concerned to this committee. Mr. Chairman, countering opium cultivation, drug trafficking and consumption have been a, seri a serious challenge for the government of Afghanistan and the international community during the past decade. More than three decades of conflict, war and violence originating from foreign aggression and meddling have severely damaged the physical and economic infrastructure of Afghanistan and have been an impediment to the development process. The link between insecurity and opium cultivation in the country is obvious. According to the 2014 UNODC report, the bulk of opium poppy cultivation, that's 89%, was concentrated in nine provinces in the southern and western regions of Afghanistan, which includes the insecure provinces in the country. Various international terrorist groups sent to our country benefit from the illicit drug trade. Drug production and trafficking are significant sources of asset generation for the Taliban. The connection between criminality and terrorism is fueling the drug trade. The problem of narcotics and its impact on Afghan society mirrors the current challenges of the country. It doesn't only pose a security threat for the country and the world at large, but also seriously impacts Afghanistan's social fabric by undermining Afghanistan's development, stability, and the rule of law, thereby posing a serious threat and problem to our society and people. Mr. Chairman, the scourge of drug addiction, of drug addiction and dependency, particularly among the most vulnerable population in Afghanistan, remains a major challenge for us and has increasingly threatened the health and stability of our people, especially youth, and drained communities of economic and human resources. Significant increase in drug addiction in Afghanistan is affecting our men, women, and children, both in rural and urban areas. Its adverse effects are felt across the society. According to a recent survey, 11% of the Afghan population uses drugs one of the highest drug use rates in the world. The government of Afghanistan has drafted the Afghanistan's National Drug Action Plan. The plan integrates alternative development, eradication, interdiction, and drug treatment and prevention programs into a broad effort by the government to further good governance, economic development, and security and stability. We can assure our friends and regional countries that we have the necessary political will and resolve to put this plan into action very soon. The National Unity Government of Afghanistan has taken some important steps to put an end to poppy cultivation and opium production in Afghanistan. These steps are, one, establishing a counter-narcotics commission to be chaired at least three times per year by the president by holding specialized meetings at the cabinet and council of ministers level, we aim to bring added political focus on the implementation and follow-up necessary to ensure success. Two, not only have we revised the country's counter-narcotics strategy, but we are also amending the laws concerning enforcement, prosecution, and accountability. Three, we aim to align counter-narcotics planning with military operations carried out by our security forces. In the short term, eradication may be considered as an option, but in the long run, we aim to make use of proven alternatives and maximize the rate of drug seizures. Four, 
we have designed the mainstreaming of drug demand reduction into public health packages and also intend on using the education system as a means of awareness, prevention and research. Five, our integrated model for the elimination of the opium industry managed by the Ministry of Counter Narcotics is initiating a 10 year long dis district based national program which will include alternative development, security, good governance, and community mobilization. Mr. Chairman, let me inform the committee here today that with the fresh initiatives of the National Unity Government of Afghanistan and our increased poppy eradication efforts, already we have seen significant reduction in poppy cultivation, opium production, and casualty rate during poppy eradication campaign. Naturally, this requires further verification from independent sources. We are looking forward to the 2015 Afghanistan Opium Survey, which will be presented by UNADC in Kabul on the 14th of October. The National Unity Government of Afghanistan is committed to eradicate the drug problem in Afghanistan with cooperation of international community. The government of Afghanistan has drafted the new drug seizure strategy to control the drug supply in and out of Afghanistan. The draft of the counter-narcotics regional strategy is prepared and will be soon shared with regional stakeholders. Mr. Chairman, the drug economy in Afghanistan is a multi-billion dollar business that links cultivators, traffickers, and consumers, and is a major financier for the Taliban and other extremist groups who are the main profiteers of this illegal trade. The counter-narcotic strategy has suffered from ills of the, lack of, of the black market in the region. Last year, the value of the opiate economy in Afghanistan amounted to $2.84 billion in 2014, amounting to about 13% of the national GDP. According to UNODC reports, a comprehensive counter-narcotic strategy should focus not only on poverty and insurgency, but also on tackling the menace of black market economy. The nexus between terrorism and the drug business, the troubling increase in Afghan addiction cases, and the illicit drug economy are not just issues concerning Afghanistan. The drug economy in Afghanistan is integrated in the global narcotics economy fueled by global demands, and this issue remains a common and shared responsibility that should be addressed through effective and increased international cooperation. The global narcotics problem demands on in integrated, multidisciplinary, mutually reinforcing, balanced, and comprehensive approach to supply and demand reduction strategies. Hence, increased cooperation between Afghanistan, its neighbors, and international partners is essential for an effective drug eradication strategy by taking into consideration existing challenges and regional realities. We ask our friends and regional countries to enhance their coordination with the National Unity Government of Afghanistan to adopt new proven measures in interdiction, law enforcement, and preventive strategies. In this regard, we welcome the remarks and recommendations made by other delegates. Our government is committed to eliminating the opium economy through the Drug Action Plan and other parallel strategies. With the support and cooperation from the international community, we can make a difference and protect future generations from the menace narcotics pose to healthy and productive societies. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Je remercie Monsieur l'Ambassadeur pour son intervention. Je donne maintenant la parole à Madame.